Tech. Robert here again. And then we're going to work a little bit more on the 3D printer project. And the first thing we're going to do is to take the manual and go through the um, initial setup phase phase as described here. And the first thing I did is I took this box and emptied all of its content. Orderly fashion, and we can have a look at that. So, here I've just emptied the box. And we can kind of go through this. I mean, it's kind of it's described in the manual, also. I'll just go through it. So, the first thing we separate out is the tools. So, they have provided all the tools and tools bag so that's bag zero so I just emptied them out here and you can see we've got some allen keys we got the um, pliers we got the screwdriver I don't know if I'll use these or uh, I mean I have tools but uh, we'll see use them until it seems to be better to use my own now they also include lubricant well, they say that in the manual this is only for um, maintenance purposes and there's a lubrication guide online that one can read if one wants to um, to do um, lubrication and this kit is it doesn't require any soldering and it um, doesn't require any wire crimping so it's actually quite um, quite friendly for the builder and then we look at the actual parts um, collection, uh, mainly the ones in bags. And here you see we have the bags and take the tools. So each bag um, will contain a label and then it gives like what chapter is it connected to the bag and then what's the header and then it will have uh, ratio one. Yeah, or when it's on um, screws and stuff, it'll have a ratio of one to one feature. On also, the other place where you can find out if you're using the correct screw or not is, to, is when you get this introductory letter. And if you turn it around, then it turns into a cheat sheet. So you can actually take a screw and you can like put it on, try to find out because this is a one to one ratio of picture so then you can put the screw in place and find out you know, exactly which one is. Now take into account that not all these screws are included in this kit. So this is a like, general hint list from Prusas. So don't have a panic if you don't find all, this, all the things on this page. So that was that. Um, so I extracted out all the all the bags, and then there's the um, uh, PTFE tube, and then there's the extruder box assembly. And I think there was a LCD display then, but we'll, we'll get to those uh, when we build. Now there is an online guide, which is a copy of the manual, the physical manual. And it has some um, higher resolution pictures in it, so you can actually click on those pictures on the online guide and get the the original picture. There's also a um, there is a bag here which is marked spares, like here, like this one. Oops. So in here, if you get desperate, you find you lose a screw or something. You think you lost a screw, then you can take take it from the spare bag. Then there are some uh, comments about um, the 3D printed parts and how they're marked. Um, some of them are, um, there are the ones that are CX series are printed at Prusa and provided with the kit. And then the RX series, you can actually go download the um, design and print uh, yourself. You don't need to do it, of course, they're all provided with the kit, but it gives an option to. Uh, to uh, to actually get the, if you break a part of something, 
You know how a 3D printer can reprint. Now there's good options online to contact process so if you run into a problem. So give them a call. Um, and when you're inserting um, nuts into the 3D printed parts, they sometimes the nuts don't. Either the, the, the place made for them is too big so the nut falls out, so then you can use a piece of tape to, to hold it in place until you screw it in. Or, or it, the op other option is that the fit is, fitting is too tight so you can't get the nut in the hole, a designated hole. So then you can use the actual, you can use the screw to um, tighten in the nut. And um, also Prusa provides instructions how to eat these in, in what specific order and how many to take for each section. But so at least since I'm on a diet, I'm going to have to give this to my kids. So they can eat that up and stuff. And then one should always read them, them, the, the applicable section through first before one starts actually building anything. Um, yeah, so I think this, and then it's good to have these kind of like small tins for screws, like a, a tin dedicated for the space you're working on. So I'll actually put the, I'll do it so that I'll put the tools in there. Tools kept in the box and then can pour, I can empty the bag here and keep one bag here and then put all the parts away if they're not needed until later. So, that's the last of that. So, what I do. And then uh, it, it does come with some stuff that you need very much later. This was some um, cleaning equipment for cleaning. And then this is so yeah, when you're actually going to do some 3D printing, you can actually make the bed. There's glue. Yeah, the bed to hold better, and then you have the zero. There's some extra stuff here. And then these um, ties, tying down case. So, anyway, that was the bit about the. Um, bit about um, preparing to build which I thought was important to actually go through I mean it's all stated in the manual but if to read that but at least at minimum this kind of organization so you have things set up and then it means that if you get interrupted then you have things in, always in a specific order so like me you know with a family and stuff that <laughs> can't always just focus on one thing so when I go leave it come back and then come back later then I, know, I know exactly where I what phase I'm in and what I'm working. Okay, so if you found this um, setup guide uh, useful, please consider subscribing. Um, if there's somebody else struggling with this or thinking of doing this project, then consider, consider sharing. And um, hit the bell icon to be notified for the next video in the series. See you in the next one.